Ubuntu 1604 desktop. Now our desire is to have the same look and feel of the Storage Made Easy web interface, but now accessible as a mount point within Linux. To begin with, I'm going to log into my Storage Made Easy account, and this is on our SaaS service. If you don't have an account on our SaaS service, please contact your admin, as the admin will be able to give you access to these same Linux tools. So I'm going to uh, click the main menu over on the right, and I'm going to come down to Cloud Apps. Inside my Cloud Apps, there's a number of Cloud Apps. Now some Cloud Apps uh, need to be unlocked with purchase but I am going to currently download the Linux Pro Cloud Tools. And when I do, I can either save this file and then open it with the Archive Manager, or depending on my browser, I can open it directly with the Archive Manager. Regardless of how I do it, um, the first thing I want to do with the Archive Manager is to extract these files. I don't want to try to actually run them inside the Archive Manager. So I'll press Extract, and I'm going to extract them to my Downloads folder. Now that they're extracted, I'm going to go ahead and show my downloads folder. And inside that folder, I want to go into this folder here, Linux Tools. Storage Made Easy provides Linux-based tools for CentOS, SUSE, Ubuntu, and a number of other Linux-based operating systems. Since today we're configuring Ubuntu, we want to use this Debian package right here. And all I'm going to do is double-click it. When I double click it, the Ubuntu Software Manager is going to open and it's going to read that Debian package and ask me if I want to install it. I can go ahead and hit install. Now, while this installs, what it's doing is in the background, it's going to um, download a number of other applications, including Fuse, that's required for the tools to work. Because of that, I need to authenticate. And so I just put in my password and now the system will install the Linux-based tools. This process normally takes around three minutes, and it's really going to be determined by the uh, speed at which uh, your system is able to download some of the dependencies needed to install the Storage Made Easy tools. Once installation is complete, we'll see that uh, we now have a button that says Remove. At this point, we can close the Ubuntu Software Manager, and we can uh, close our Downloads folder. In fact, we can even close our web browser. If I click search my computer and I type in SME, I'll notice that I now have three new tools. At this point, we've installed the Storage Made Easy tools, but why don't we configure the Storage Made Easy client so that we can have a mount point available to us. After the Linux Cloud Tools launches, I need to input the server URL that I'm going to be using. In this case, I'm going to use storagemadeeasy.com. But if you're running one of our appliances or a SaaS service, please put in the IP address or the FQDN of the proper system. The next thing I need to do is sign into my system. I'm now prompted by a second window. In this window, if I need to input proxy settings, I can do so. In addition, I could also select the ability to have the desktop client upload directly to the storage provider. Uh, this is really going to be applicable when you're using things like Amazon S3 um, in the public cloud. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. At this point, we're going to launch a Firefox or um, Chrome window, and we're going to have you authenticate against the main web page. So I'm just going to log in as I normally do with my Storage Made Easy account. I'm greeted by the message, thank you, you can now close this window, and so I will. Now that I'm signed in, I need to map a folder. And this folder is where I'm going to be able to see my Storage Made Easy cloud files. So I pick Folder, and I'm immediately brought to my Users folder. I don't have a folder here that I want to use, and so I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to call this SME Drive, and click anywhere on the screen. That created a folder, and I'm in it. By clicking Open, I've now selected that I would like to mount all of my Storage Made Easy files into the home SME user SME drive folder. Clicking mount allows the system to go out and um, actually mount the files. Now that I'm mounted, I can do one of two things. I can exit the software, 
or if I desire to still have it running in the top right, I can simply hit hide and tray. And now I still have it running in the top right. Again, it's not required to have it running. We could also use the exit command. Opening my file explorer, I can see that the folder we created, SME Drive, has a mount point on it. I can also see that over on the left-hand panel. Clicking into my Storage Made Easy Drive, I'm now greeted by all of the folders and providers that I normally see in my Storage Made Easy web-based file manager. This concludes the installation of Storage Made Easy Linux tools for Ubuntu Desktop 16.04.